Welcome back to Houston, Texas, where Southland Conference Media Day continues as we tip off the 2018-2019 season. And we are continuing on with the SFA Lady Jacks. Last season, they went 25-7 and overall, 16-2 and in the Southland Conference. And they have a lot of their top returning players coming back. Notable ones, Kennedy Harris, Chanel Hayes, and Amani Johnson. Super excited to be joined by Coach Mark Kellogg. Such a great season that you guys are coming off of. And it was the 50th season. And also it was the second straight time for you all to advance into the Southland Conference Tournament. How do you all plan to build off of that success this year? Well, I guess in some aspects more of the same, but then um, not be satisfied by continuing to be in the conference tournament championship game. It's figuring out a way to win that. But um, we keep saying well, if we keep knocking on the door one of these days, we're going to bust through. Um, but, you know, proud of our effort a year ago. We lost some pretty good pieces, return a few pieces that will be important to us. And then a lot of youth, too, um, with a, a bunch of sophomores and freshmen. So excited about our group. I really like our group. Um, but obviously, um, you know, we got a lot of work to do between now and then. You talk about having a lot of work to do. You also talk about the youth that have been added to this program. Four freshmen added to the roster. Who do you think is going to make the most immediate impact? Um, well, uh, we like them all, and you never really know how it's going to play out. But um, right now, Stephanie Vischer, who's a freshman from Sweden, um, is, is a six-foot guard that can do a little bit of everything. We'll play multiple positions for her. Uh, we also have three sisters on our team, so we have the youngest, Johnson, who's um, really, really talented. And, and it's always the case with freshmen. It just takes them a while to adjust and get the speed of the strength going. And, and, and right now, they're probably playing a little fast. Um, over time, they'll start to slow down and let the game come to them. And, and whoever figures that out, the, uh, you know, the soonest we'll get to play a little bit more. You mentioned Ayanna Johnson, how she's joining her two sisters. They're only one of two trios in the NCAA right now. What has it been like as a coach to be able to, you know, be the mentor for three family members on one team? Is it challenging at times? Well, no, not really. It's a great family and they're so supportive of each other. We don't get too many of the, the sister cat fights or anything <laughs> like that. They truly do um, enjoy being with each other. Um, they've never gotten to play together because the oldest one, Amani, redshirted. Um, so this will be the first time they've ever all three of them been on the same team um, you know so it's it's a great dynamic they're all different um, all unique in their personalities but it seems to fit really well but they bring a lot of size a lot of length multifaceted skill sets to the lady jacks roster but other than them who else do you think is going to make the most immediate impact um, well, I mean, Chanel Hayes is a second team all conference player who, you know, I would think would lead us in scoring, but you never know how that's going to work. But she just has an ability to score. She's a big, strong guard that can do it in multiple ways. So her and Amani will probably lead us, um, you know, from a returning standpoint. We had Kennedy Harris. Unfortunately, she tore ACL a week ago, so we'll be without Kennedy. So we're going to look for these other kids to step up. Riley Harvey is our only junior um, on the roster. So she and she takes over for Stevie Parker, who is a really good player in this conference and in our program. So and then after that, it's going to be a lot of sophomores and freshmen, so we're going to need the youth. Well, Coach Kellogg, let's look at some key dates that you all have coming up this season at Miami, the preseason WNIT, coming up in November. Then Tulsa, and then you're at Texas Tech. Montana State at home, New Mexico Invitational. That's December 19th and the 20th. And then for your Southland Conference opener, you head on the road to southeastern Louisiana where they have a program that's being rebuilt by a very young coach who's doing a lot of exciting things there. What do you have to say about going into that matchup? Well, yeah, hopefully a preseason um, sets us up for the Southland play. Um, a lot will happen between now and then, and we'll both learn a lot more about our programs. Um, but, you know, everybody's going to be excited uh, when you start conference play. Um, there's a lot of nerves, a lot of energy, those types of things. So, you know, to be honest, I don't know what it's going to look like, you know, because we got so much to do between now and then. I just know we'll be ready to play and excited to get down there.